Hi guys. So we're in London right now. Uh, I'm just getting ready for my day with GHD. We've got two meet and greets today. We've got our meet and greet, which is the first one, which is afternoon tea. So it's only 16 of us and we're all going to have lunch and just chat and talk about some products, get some pictures. Really nice and chill. We've got a wee break and then tonight I'm doing a masterclass with Patrick Wilson. He's going to do my hair um, and that's for 25 people. So it's really nice intimate little groups. So I'm really excited to meet everybody. I was up at 7 this morning. I had some meetings things today which was great over the weekend we actually went and stayed with our friends Jen and Sam and we had the nicest time they looked after us so well and we went to Harry Potter studios yesterday and I didn't want to film it because this is my first time going I'm a huge Harry Potter fan or I have been since I was really young uh, I was one of those guys that would queue at midnight to get the books go to the midnight show into the films I just loved it and we had the best time it is huge we were so tired uh, last night we got to our hotel we're just staying at the Sanderson again I had a shower washed my hair and went to sleep at like 10. I was so tired. I'm feeling much better. Thank you so much guys. All your comments. I felt terrible in last week's vlog because I felt, I just don't like moaning, you know. I'm, I know how lucky I am. I really don't like moaning but I was just feeling proper done in. But my health, I feel way better. I've got the end of it, the end of this cold but um, I'm feeling much, much better. Dogs are great at home. Checking in on them this morning. And this is our last trip pretty much till the end of the year. We're actually away for New Year this year which is great. Really excited about that but um, yeah, this is our last trip before Christmas so when we get back again I'm really sorry I thought I told you guys about my surgery I thought basically last week's vlog I mentioned that I'm going for surgery and I'll lose you guys don't know what I'm talking about I am getting a breast augmentation so for those of you that don't know I've actually had a breast augmentation in the past I'm getting another one because I just feel like my chest is a little bit big for my frame now I'm basically getting my boobs reduced um, but not like a proper reduction because I'm just getting my implants changed. Something for, that I've wanted or thought about for about a year now. Um, so I'm excited. I'm really excited. Oh my God, it's on Friday. Friday, Friday. Today's Monday and it's on Friday. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just going to get ready. I'm going to get changed. I'm waiting on an iron. I need an iron for my shirt. And yeah, today's going to be a great day. Really good. So we're just in the private room with the team at GHD. Jamie's just about ready well. for the meet and greet. So we just did the small meet and greet, the lunch one, and now we're doing 25 people mm -hmm. for a masterclass. Yeah. No, I was trying to give you bunny ears, but I can't seem to get it in the middle. Put it, that's not going to work. <laughs> After you. So we are back at La Ren, La Rele, Renacoa. I'll put it down here, but it's the steak restaurant we visited when we were in Paris. And we found out we've got one in London, so we came along and it looks the exact same. You don't order, it's a set menu. They ask you how you like your steak cooked. They bring out a salad and then they bring out the piece de la resistance. Steak frites, baby. Jamie's tried it, how is it? Is it the same as Paris? Yeah, but I need to try the meat, but it's amazing. Yeah, it looks incredible. Taste it, taste it, taste it, taste it, taste it. Is it the same? Is it that great sauce as well? Oh. If you guys are ever in Paris, or London, or New York, you have to try this. Oh my god. Although, oh. I just say, 
Forget, but then just get sticky tongue. But then that's why. Yeah, Jamie made add this. To be fair, you had about half of it, but Jamie made the mistake of I don't what have she half always of does. It. What she I always does, may I reiterate. Give me four, getting four the fruit, bites. The fruit, dessert, and then always wants what I have. In fact, across the board, no matter what I order, main starter or dessert, whatever order you want. No. It's quite good that we come to a place like this and we both have to have the same, so then you can't use that excuse. Yeah, but I want to use dessert. Hmm. Next time. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh, she's getting so big. <laughs> Hello. I feel like I've got, oh my god, can you hear my voice? I've actually not really spoke this morning yet though. So I've still got morning voice. I need to update you guys. It's been a funny week for the vlog. It's been a funny week because we um, had an overnight at Soho Farmhouse and it was a wedding gift from my manager and we just had the best time and we just we decided not to vlog it. Just because we were with my manager, we had the most lovely dinner. We got booked in for a massage and it was just really nice. I posted a couple of things on my Instagram, like the amazing outside bath. I had an outside bath, it was great. And then we got home last night and today is nuts because my surgery is tomorrow. We've got some stuff to do, but I also have to go into town to like get my nails off. I'm not allowed to have anything on my nails because I think the thing that they put on your finger is to read your oxygen levels or something, so you can't do it. Hello. Oh my goodness me. I got a tiny baby. Oh, look at this puppy. You're a bit dirty because you've been on a walk, haven't you? Don't, please don't eat anything. I'm in town. I'm not gonna get a ticket today because I'm only here for about half an hour. Basically, the operation's tomorrow, so I need, there's certain things I need to do, like I need to get all my nail polish taken off and my extensions, it's time for them to come out. But yeah, it's just better for me to just strip it right back for my recovery process. Um, I'm quite excited to have no extensions for a bit. I'm just gonna rock my natural hair, which is getting actually, it's a lot thicker since I've gone darker. It's got a wee bit longer as well, but I think we're gonna take a little bit off the ends. And yeah, it's just a bit of a crazy day today. Charlotte's back at the house um, and Jack is, or, uh, they're both back and they're working. I shouldn't be too long today because I'm not actually getting anything done. I'm getting everything away. Another thing that I need to do is take all my jewellery off. I need to change my piercings over. There's certain piercings that I can't take out, which she'll just get taped up, but um, there's some jewellery that I, that I can take off. I need to swap over my nipple bar for a plastic nipple bar. I need to take off all my bracelets and all my rings. So literally, I am going to have no nails, no hair, no jewellery, no makeup, no nothing. I'm going to be feeling very stripped back. I'm feeling good. I'm a wee bit nervous, but I think that's normal. Ooh. I'm more nervous, I think. I'm, I'm quite early to be here. I haven't played 15 minutes early, so that's why I'm going to just sit and talk to you guys. I think I'm more nervous for h how sore I'll be and my recovery. I hope it's as quick as it was last time because it was pretty, pretty good last time. I spoke about this in last week's vlog and so many of you guys have been so lovely just telling me that it's okay to have a little break uh, for after my operation because ideally um, I would have had videos pre-filmed for you guys up uh, leading up to Christmas, but I've just not really had time. I was sick last week as well, but I'm f I'm fine now. I'm a lot better. And yeah, I just think timing's been timing's been a bit shoddy. I really would have loved to have some stuff for you guys, but unfortunately not. So I'm actually not sure when my next video will be. No, ah, no, I will still be vlogging. Um, I think it would actually be quite interesting to show you guys my recovery process as well. So as far as other videos on my channel, as soon as I'm feeling better or good enough to film, I will be. But I am going to give myself probably a week, which I've not done in a really long time, so it'll be cool. I'm actually excited. I'm excited about it. Kind of crazy that I have to get an operation to take a week off, but there we go. <laughs> we had the best time this week. It was really lovely staying with our friends, uh, Jen and Sam. Harry Potter World was unbelievable. I just loved it so much. And then the meet and greets that you saw with GHD, that was so great. It was amazing. And then Soho Farmhouse was brilliant. So we've actually, we've been really lucky. We've had, that was a really lovely trip to end uh, the kind of year off, I guess. Yeah, I loved it. I really loved it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pay my parking. Just to let you guys know, right? I'm gonna need my phone, come here. The reason 
that sometimes I choose to get a ticket is because in Glasgow you're only allowed to park in town for two hours and I'm always in here for longer than that so see if it was two hours like my tattoo it was way over two hours so basically what I would do and the target the parking attendants are vicious here so if I was to pay for my parking which is two hours which is anything up to like 12 pounds and I'm still here I'd get a ticket so I'd be paying that and getting a ticket so I may as well just get a ticket does that make sense so I'm not trying to dodge paying a ticket paying for my parking but if I need to if, you know I'm Oh, obviously I'm going to get a ticket and not pay for parking if I'm going to end up getting both anyway. Where am I? West George Street. Hello! Managed to get everything done. We've got a few more bits to do. I still need to pack my bag and I still, it's still 7 o'clock just now. We're going to get something to eat on the way home because I've not really eaten that much today because we've been busy. And I can't eat from 12 o'clock. But we're on our way to vote. We're on our way. And apparently, did you know this? Women from the ages of 18 to 30 are the least likely to vote. Bitch where? Bitch where? <laughs> Did you like that one? Uh, bitch where? Bitch where? <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's a meme? I never heard of it. You don't think I'm cute without makeup? Bitch where? <laughs> I've never heard of that meme. I love it, it's my favourite. So we're gonna go and vote, get a KFC, back up KFC. the road. I just want popcorn chicken. Again. And corn on the cob. Is a car park KFC. open? Again. I don't even know how you yeah. this car park. We're voting in a primary school that we have no idea how to access. I know. Um, we'll figure it out. I think around here. Yeah. There's no other access there anyway. Yes, hen. Let's do this. Give him a juice. polar bar card. The one that says no, Jack on it. No, that's the bottom one. Give it up. Ready? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> okay. I'm all packed. I've got my jammies, underwear, a little toiletry bag, I'm charging my headphones, I've got my clothes for tomorrow, and I'm all <sighs> showered. Bath, I should say. I've had a bath. And now I just need to go to bed. I'm not allowed to eat or drink anything from 12 o'clock. And then I'm getting admitted at half past eight. And then I'm second on the list. So I'm really excited. I know loads of you guys will ask that I'm actually, it's the same surgeon that did my breast augmentation the first time. Dr. Schwebe is amazing. He um, owns La Belle Form, which is where I've been going for years. And he really is great. When I went to him and said that I wanted to get my implants changed, um, I actually talked about just getting them out full stop, but we both kind of decided that the results wouldn't quite probably be what I was looking for because my boobs before I wasn't happy with. So this is almost like a kind of middle ground between where I am now and where I was. Kind of closer to where I was though. And yeah, he's just been brilliant. He really made me think about it. And I'm just telling you guys because I know that you'd be interested. I am in no way saying that this is something that everyone should do. But I am a huge believer in doing what makes you happy. So this might not be up your, some of your guys' street this chat but this is what I'm doing I'm being I'm just telling you guys the truth so I'm really excited I'm a bit nervous but I think I'll be fine Um, I've actually had a couple of messages from you guys because I didn't realize I hadn't really said on Instagram and because I'm going to be um out the game for a bit I just explain and I got a few messages from you guys saying that you have done the same thing recently you have gone smaller with your implants and some people can just get them out and they're fine but I just don't think that I would be happy with them completely gone but yeah loads of you guys said that you did it and that you feel great that actually made me more excited and less nervous so I'm gonna go to bed and then it's off to hospital in the morning I'm ready to go look I've got tape on all my bits I've got my guinea on I've got one on the back because my arse is out. I'm scared. I'm not scared, I'll be fine. Jack's gonna come and see me later. I think I'm literally gonna just about to be taken down. I need to walk down. I've got my bag. I've been drawn on, look. And I'm really excited. I'm a bit scared. I think I'll be fine. I can't wait to take this tape off my ears. I can't really hear out this ear. I had to get my blood taken, which was fine. So you guys, apart from that, that is this week's vlog. Thank you so much to all of you guys that are saying well wishes already. I'll be okay. I really appreciate everyone's patience while I recover, but as soon as I am better, I'll be back. And I know loads of you guys have loads of questions about this whole thing, so I'll do a little video or something um, just to talk you through what's happened. I'm scared. Hope you had a really good week, and I will see you later. Bye. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> I'm feeling funny. I'm feeling strange. 
I'm feeling scared. I'm feeling excited. <gasps> Shit. The door is just right. Hi. I, I'll just take that iron. Sorry, I don't have any. Oh, no, I'm a mess. That. I can't wait for these boobs to go away. Get them out. I've not really talked about it tons, but I've said before. Me looking at my car. I look like a hoodlum. Oh, that was absolutely. I just go bit. <laughs> <laughs>